Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day 8 of 12 Days of Nerdmas. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the 2021 winter version of the Nick Box. <laughs> All right, so this box is quite hefty, and uh, it's got some awesome figures on the front. We finally, finally, finally got the Wild Thornberries in a box. I am so freaking hype about that. So we got Wild Thornberries, Rocco's Modern Life, Rocket Power, welcome back. Uh, nothing on this side. We got Invader Zim, which is also new, and we got Angry Beavers, and yeah, what? Why does it say large slash 3XL? I guess because the item that I already know about, it ranges between those and my sizes between those, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and bust this bad boy open. So I know all the items that are going to be in this box, so it's not going to be a surprise, but I am going to be happy to have them in hand and finally see them up close um, so I can check them out. I got the box shipped to my mom's house so that it would be here for 12 Days of Nerdmas because I was expecting it to come later. I could have just got it shipped to my house and opened it as one of the earlier boxes of 12 Days of Nerdmas, which actually might have been better because I have to travel back with all of this stuff. I have to try to fit it into my... Uh, check bag so we'll see how that goes so the first thing that we're gonna check out is boom this what is this oh this is the black friday exclusive reptar that we got the uh purple reptar vinyl figure next up we got the aggro crag trophy um so this one i'm disappointed in it's one of those desk lamps that like um, the light shoots up from the bottom and hits the acrylic. I have one of those. Um, my best friend JQ collects made me one with you know one of my little logos on it. Um, but yeah, I mean this one's a little lame because it's small, and we already got an aggro crag in the past. I actually want to get my hands on that bad boy. If anybody has one and is selling one or wants to get rid of one, let me know. You know, my P.O. box is open. But this is what this version looks like. And mine's actually all scratched up, which is also lame. So you just put this inside of this little base here. And then when there's batteries in it, you just click it on and the light will shine up and make this thing glow. All right, next up, we got the thing that I for sure knew about, the piece de resistance. We got a robe from Rugrats. Oof, I'm excited about this one. I don't own a robe. I've never owned a robe. I'm not robes aren't really my thing. But a Rugrats robe. Look at him. He's wearing it right now. Come on. This is dope. Like, it's got this Rugrats print on the back. It says Rugrats right on the front. It's a nice slime green. Like, this is super retro. So I'm definitely excited to have this bad boy. Like yeah I, this is awesome and this is big and thick and like it's nice w nicely weighted like i expected it to be like super thin and you know not very warm but it's it's pretty nice you might actually see me wearing it on christmas um and i'm excited to have that in conjunction with something from the last nick box which i did not open um, somebody asked me about that and I got it super late and I didn't love the stuff in it I only really wanted one thing in it. So I was like, I'm not gonna do a video of this But the one item that I did want is the reptar cereal bowl and I feel like that fits Amazingly with this robe like come on they go together. Hello. All right on to the next item next up. We have Ooh a patch it's a, a um, bottle of orange soda, and it says, who loves orange soda? Kale loves orange soda. That's dope. I like the little backing card as well. It says Keenan and Kale, and showing them, like, out on the stage. I really liked that. Um, yeah, I think this is dope. We've never, I don't think we've had a patch before. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it or what I'm going to put it on. Patches feel very permanent, like stickers, and I don't like that, so... I have to really think about where this is going to go, but it's still dope nonetheless. Next up, we have the actual pin in the box, and um, this is uh, <clears throat> Spike. 
Uh, no. Spunky. This is Spunky. That's his name. This is Spunky from Rocco's Modern Life. That is Rocco's dog there. Um, sitting on the couch next to him. This is not the first pin that we've gotten from Rocco's Modern Life. And this one's, you know, this one's okay. Spunky is not, like, a highlight character for me. So, I don't necessarily love the pin. But, I don't hate it either. Next up, we got a super unique item. We got a sleep mask that has Gur on it. So, it's basically, you know, what Gur looks like when he is pretending to be the dog. Ugh, let's see. Dogger sleep mask. All right. I am not a sleep mask person. Um, I don't know. I don't need it to be super dark in order for me to sleep. I mean, maybe this will come in handy in some situations where I need to catch a quick nap or like sleep somewhere that's super bright or something. But yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty good. It's it's okay. I'm not mad at it. It's really soft. I like that. It's nice and cushiony. It's a pretty good fit. And how do I look, guys? I have no idea because my eyes are closed. But I bet it's amazing. Next, we got socks. Um, so we got some crew socks of Angry Beavers. Um, for me, this is probably like... Well, no. I was going to say this is probably like the letdown, but the pin... It's probably like the letdown for me because, you know, I'm spunky. Um, but actually, these are kind of dope. I like the red tip and the red um, heel part and then the purple lining at the top. So I like the way that they did these colors and they're black. Um, the only reason I was like a little bit mm, only because I'm doing, you know, the socks for 12 Days of Nerd Miss. So I'm like, more socks. Oh, gosh. But these are these are honestly dope. So I'm not going to hold that against them. All right, next up, we got something totally awesome. The last few things are totally awesome because of the shows that they represent. And that is this Reggie Rocket vinyl figure. I'm so excited about this, guys, because, you know, we have the um, auto already. We have this guy here. So I'm hoping that means they're going to make Sammy and Twister in the years to come, which would mean we have to wait two more years to have a complete set if they actually do that. So, yeah, that is just Reggie Rocket in her snow gear Riding on a snowboard on a little patch of snow. She is going to look so awesome on the same shelf as Otto. I am just super excited to have more Rocket Power stuff. And I'm even more excited to have my girl Reggie. Like, come on. I don't know why they don't have more stuff. And last but not least, we have what I would consider to be like a dual or like combo item. Kind of like how we have those double dare shot glasses and then the little card that you like read to know the rules and all that kind of stuff. Um, but this one is much better. We got a mug and a tea strainer. So the first thing I'm going to show is the tea strainer. Basically, it's just a little ball that you put tea in. I had one of these before um, because I used to have some loose tea that I was drinking. But you just put your loose tea in there and close it up. And then this usually gets like clipped onto the side of your glass. But I'm assuming that he just like hangs out the outside of your glass like that because he's so heavy. And then this just kind of steeps in the water to create your tea. So that's pretty dope. Uh, I really like that it's Wild Thornberries and that it's Nigel, like such a classic dude. Smoshing is what I would have to call this item. And then last, but certainly, certainly, certainly not least, we have the Wild Thornberries mug. Now this mug, <laughs> get it double play on the words um this mug is super dope so these are the two images that are on the sides of the mug so one side has eliza darwin debbie and donnie and then the other side just has eliza a lion that's chasing her and darwin i freaking love this i don't mind you know getting like drinkware and stuff in my in my nick boxes um i could do without mugs i could do with some other stuff to be honest um but you know i have a little collection of nerdy mugs now because i was already buying disney mugs and now you know i've gotten a bunch of mugs from the nick box and the spongebob box and stuff so i'm excited to add this one to the collection and it's unique because it's glass like i think that's really dope and i use my mugs for other stuff besides like hot drinks so I'm definitely going to use this. I'm probably going to use this, like, now, like, while I'm here for Christmas, on Christmas, to drink my hot cocoa. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm super excited about this. I'm, I'm a little geeked. This one, I definitely have to figure out how I'm taking it back with me. I'll probably just, like, leave it in this box and pack it in my box. My suitcase going to be full. 
All right, now that we have gone through all of the items, let's shoot over to Bean so we can check out the socks and the mini brands. It would be cool if they were like in order. <laughs> uh, gelatin, royal brand gelatin, not even jello. Cherry. A16 on this calendar is a holy guacamole. Don't know if you've ever had these, they are not good. Number eight, had cat dog on the front. Let's see if it is in fact cat dog. It is cat dog. <laughs> I like these colors though, the black and the orange. I know she was talking junk about the green and black Patrick, but that's one of my favorite color combos. All right, thanks Bean. Thanks for showing us those socks and those items. But that's going to do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And while you're down there, let me know in the comment section which of these items from the Nick Box was your favorite and what did you think of the socks and mini brand items. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy and hit that bell notification. And be sure to share this video and my channel with anybody that you think may enjoy. And don't forget, if you want to see any pictures, letters, or fun little gifts, my P.O. box is down below. But as always, guys, remember, keep it nerdy.